Okay, so yesterday's video, remember I tell you everything is, is happening faster and faster and faster again? Well, I'm gonna get in the, <laughs> you know, when you get in that certain frame of mind, nothing happens, everything slows down. But anyway, my mind is improving daily and I'm spending less time thinking about things I shouldn't ought to be and uh, being critical and anyway, I've been minding my own business, so let's, say, let's just say that. Um, so I'm trying to find textured things so that when I do get my clay and I get better and better and better, I can just not buy that $15 mold for one mold, but you have like three impressions in one mold. So I don't think it's necessarily a bad price, but free is always better, you know. So I'm looking for things. So. The first pair of earrings I'm going to make is the, the template from um, uh, Rio Grande guy. Oh, I can't think of his name. Anyway, and he's just a very small, tiny pair of round earrings. And you, he had this pattern, kind of wavy-like. And you press it to the clay. You, I thought, oh, I'm going to make that first, but I want to find a really nice pattern. Okay, so I found a nice pattern on, um, I found a piece, uh, a scarf. A, a lace scarf, so I thought I'll press that to that, and that'll be the imprint of my earring. Right? Okay, so I'm looking for my WD-40 container because it has that straw that'll probably big, probably be big enough to put the earring hook through, right? And I thought hmm, that's probably not the best idea I've had since it's got chemicals on it already, right? So I thought, hmm, okay, you guys, put something in my way. I tell my spirit guides, put something in my way that I could use instead of something that's already got used chemicals on it. And you're not going to believe, this morning I'm putting the stuff out for coffee. <laughs> yeah, it's a stir stick. Hi, honey. It's a stir stick. Okay? Yeah. And that is just right for me to put my wire through, because you got to press the hole in the clay before you put it in the kiln or torch it, so you have a hole to put your ear wires through. <laughs> Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Yeah. Do I have my caps lock on again? I can't tell. Stupid people. So, yeah. So you just ask and then wait for the answer. Don't be hopping from person to person to person to person asking the same question over and over and over just because you don't like the answer. You know, I mean, come on, don't get me wrong. I want you guys to buy all that stuff so that I could buy them Lindstrom pliers or Woobers. Yes, that's their name, Woobers, W-U-B-E-R. And uh, they're very expensive pliers, but they fit the whole form of your hand. I mean, they're still, so, you know, you don't have any hand problems. Not that I will, because I do my exercises. But, um, yeah, so... Yeah, I need to buy those pliers, guys. Just so you know, that set of Woobers, I don't know how much the Lindstrom's are, I can't find a price yet. Um, the set of Woobers that I want to buy for five is $125, so. But it would be nice to have one of the best of something so I could just have it the rest of my life, you know. Not have to worry about paying for something again and again and again. So there you have it. See, ask. And it shall be given unto you in like manner. Pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Yeah. Okay. So. It's a beautiful morning. I'm going to sit here and eat my bologna sandwich. With no mayo, no mustard. Thank you very much. Let's see, Cody's been good for me. <laughs> About that. In that regard. I always want to put those huge, um, Audrey, no, Lauren Hepburn, no, Audrey Hepburn pads in here. Anyway, so I'm excited about that, and if you guys could think of any, anything textured that I could use on my jewelry like this, this, with little holes in it. You know, that is going to be an awesome design. Then what I'm going to do is 
dip the brush like in water and then swish it, swish it, whatever, and drag it across so it looks not like round circle holes, but it'll probably look kind of like ocean waves or something. So, I can't wait, I can't wait. My shipment is here in, in the U.S. someplace. Texas, I think it's in Texas now. Strange, it went from Utah to Texas. Whatever, I don't care. It'll be here by Friday, I have faith. I have faith. Okay, so my other thing was, I want to ask you, because you know, it's, it is so not important to me, but I want to ask you people that do write to me, and even if you haven't written to me, if you bought something of mine and it did help you feel better in some way, shape, or form, please write me, because now, thank God, I'm starting to get more people asking me questions from my Etsy store on things like that and it would be nice to just you know send them an email saying yeah well here's what you know Tazamisha thought and Shaquandra and Portia and Audi <laughs> oh, sorry I was watching said the entertainer last night anyway um, so it would be nice to forward things like that along to other people and not just lie about it make up stuff uh, people, uh, some of you have sent me things in the past. Um, can I have your permission to use those? Because, you know, I don't do anything without permission. I think that's unethical and disrespectful. So, there you have it. Um, I forgot who wanted this ring. I think it's loose on me, so it must be about an eight and a half. So, yeah. If you want it, you have to be very careful with it. Because I only, this one I use glue to keep it down because this end was popping up. So I just put a dink, one drop of glue there. But it's very fragile, so if you break it, if you want it, and I send it to you, you break it, bend it, lose it, don't ask me to fix it. <sighs> I'm sorry, I don't say that to be a witch. I say that because I don't have time to fix, fix free stuff anymore. Um... Yeah, so there you go. Thank you. Go have a great day. <laughs> Love you. Bye.